Well, hello, I'm Valentina Kozlova, founder of VKIBC International Ballet Competition and a Contemporary Competition. And with me, uh, my dear friend, Maestro Yurashi Yalko. Uh, by special permission, Yurasha allowed us to perform ballet which belongs to him, uh, Pas de Cater, as a, our uh, compulsory in, in classical division piece. And I would like to say that the philosophy behind our competition is to preserve the past and discover the future. Preserve the past is very important because it's, it's going now basically all over the place and Maestro in Russia is the right person to, uh, to get the knowledge and to get the history of it. And I'm very happy that uh, we have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, of course, we have to differentiate the past and old-fashionedness. Right. You see, there is, everybody thinks, oh, this ballet is old-fashioned. Actually, the old ballets, especially from the Romantic period or Petit Pau or classical pre diaghilev should always be done with a refreshing energy, but kept to the geography and geometry of the choreographic structure. And that's why I'm very, very pleased to uh, give permission for dance uh, conservatory of Valentina to do that because I feel she's a right custodian. She's one of the last Bolshoi ballerinas who was brought up with the sense of dancing. Today they are all talking about technique, how high you do the legs and how many pirouettes you are turning. But actually I don't call that technique, I call that bravura. Technique is when you know how to walk on the stage and look like you are floating, or how you are uh, manège that is light and not forced. You see the difference why I like her arms. She shows the difference between legs and arms. In Romantic ballet, the legs were the beat, you know, the, the rhythm. And the arms and the top part body was melody. Today it's written down, written up, stiff arms without a melody. It's really actually like the music we have today. It's all big, 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 big. There is no romanticness in it. There is no poetry in it. So uh, I, I don't really like to give this ballet to, uh, it was given to me by Sir Anton Dolin to preserve it and to continue because it's one of the real classics. And I don't like to, give to schools, especially the schools that uh, put it on YouTube without my permission, which uh, of course I don't have time to pursue them and I feel sorry for them. But uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I do feel sorry for them. But to give to somebody who has a feeling and sensitivity to without me continue that thing, to me this is very important. And the Romantic Ballet, uh, actually, this was given in 9, 1845. It was already, uh, uh, Romantic Ballet was dying and we were starting to go petit pas into Tchaikovsky and into the great classics, which are also today misinterpreted. You know, if you look at the tradition, tradition doesn't jump from one thing and say, let's invent new swan lake, like the ones, uh, you know, the boys. All this one, like, uh, it, the tradition is when you take the line and you continue the same thing but better and better and better and more refined. So thank you very much for asking me and I'm giving you a special permission that you and your school <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so honored to have this and we have so much in common because I, I feel exactly the same thing that uh, ballet is going somewhere and we're losing the artistry and uh, it's true legs are working one way but with the arms and 
uh, people before us, the way they worked, and we're taking Jules Perrault, uh, Saint Leon, uh, Bull Nonville, uh, Petipa, and even Frederick Ashton, yes. they work for individualities. Mm -hmm. So uh, even if it's the same variation, it was slightly readjusted for a dancer uh, who is going to interpret, and it's important for choreography and choreographer and the dancer and the audience. So what we've done, Yuresh and I, we set together and we chose out of four variations. We chose variation number one, grand variation. And uh, when I looked at that, it's so difficult. It's really very difficult. And, simple. and very but simple, simple. It's a, but extremely difficult. Musicality, Yuresh insists on musicalities. And Yuresha changed several steps a uh, little bit because he has all the rights to do it, and that's how we're. Uh, well, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but when Sir Anton Dolin uh, gave his rights to me, he obviously, obviously must have thought that I have some kind of talent and sensitivity that I would honor his work. You see, he said, you don't have to change very much. You have to evolve it to fit in year 2000, whenever you're producing it. And really, uh, uh, you just update. If there is a little glissade on the floor, you make a little jeté. If it's a little jeté, you increase it and make a grand jeté. So that it would fit into our sense of technique today, what we are seeing. So I have the rights, according to his uh, thinking, to move his ballet, his, what is now classic, into the future. Mm -hmm. And to, uh, he would do the same. Isn't it the same in Balanchin? He can choreograph him forever and ever. And now, if he would uh, come today, he would say, oh no, this is terrible. We have to go forward. Right. You have to go forward, but not empty-headed and empty steps, empty, empty arm movements, which is so distressing when I see ballet. And they are fantastic dancers today. My God, we could never have physical capacity of that. You are probably the last one who had the physical capacity of that period. Of you that know? period, yes. Of more than the Nulanova or Dudinskaya or the Plesetskaya, those people, when you see. But when you see them, they di directly speak to your, to your philosophy, to your mind, and they revive me. If I see today some dancers who are so beautiful and brilliant, uh, I, I forget the next day. It's sad. Well, yes, anyway, but we in VKIBC, we are trying to get this back in modern way, <laughs> preserving the past. And that's again our philosophy regarding the classics. So today we are going to show 15-year-old Nikita Boris, who is not going to dance this variation on stage yet, but we used her as a model that Yurasha worked personally, and we are in the rehearsal studio. Uh, so you. Uh, forgive us for the rehearsal environment, but I think it's actually quite more interesting than just perfect stage. That's right. <laughs> and so, so we are going to start uh, to have rehearsal and uh, perhaps you, Russia, if he's not satisfied, he's going to give some corrections and I will continue you, Russia's line of thinking and philosophy uh, uh, regarding this ballet. Thank you very much. Thank you, Danny. Yes, you see, uh, in a I think it was in 1941 or 42 when they were preparing Ballet Canta. Irina Boronova, who was a very famous ballerina of that time, did the beats in there. And now they do either Padusha um, or the Assembly. Can you just try to see, give just one beat uh, rather than Antichassis, or what we call Antichassis? Ta, 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 ta. When you go to the fifth, give yourself that. Don't just end with a static stop. No. Ba, da, ti, da, da, da. Yeah. 
So again, Valentina, you know when you give uh, this ballet to your girls, we are developing her not, them not only from dancing point, we develop your personality that you feel, I am important, I am, yes, I am delivering for you because I'm dancing for you, because all the others is not the same, it's the giving, giving everything to the public. So think of that, and you can develop these, these things yourself now. You see, because she did it love beautifully. Did you feel comfortable? Yes. Because I, this also must be very comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 